The announcement is controversial because many students have not been in a school building all year. There is concern that learning has diminished because of online instruction. Many parents have signed petitions asking the governor to reconsider. The TEA, though, says the state needs an accurate assessment of where children are in their education. The agency asserts that such an evaluation can only be done in person. But the state, it's huge. Um, fifth grade is uh, an SSI year, which stands for Student Success Initiative. So um, students have to pass both the math and reading star test in order to pass fifth grade. Teachers are trying to prepare students the best way they can via Zoom. Some teachers are concerned about how well children taught virtually will do on the test. I think all kids should be held accountable for their um, learning and what they have been taught for the entire year. Um, I think that even though you're at home, you're still held accountable for your curriculum for your grade level. The STAR test was not administered last year because of pandemic restrictions. For Bobcat Update, I'm Hannah Shemansky. Finding a job post-graduation can be difficult for many people, but it's even more challenging because of COVID-19. Working remotely is not what some had in mind to start their careers. Texas State 2020 grad Kaylee Cooper says her job as a healthcare advocate is not one she saw herself doing. At first, she worked at home, but now is in an office and having to adjust. When we first started going back, we had about three COVID cases come up in just our office. Uh, we were not sent home for an amount of time. I don't know how they cleaned it. And um, I feel like if some people do have the choice to work at home, then everyone should. Other graduates do not like working remotely. Graduate Paige Price says she went into sales expecting to have face-to-face -face interactions with people. Instead, she has had to work at home and be alone all day. Price says she plans to go back to nursing school in hopes of getting an essential job. No, I did not like it, especially for a first job and having to train remotely. And I've never even met any of the people that I work with in person. Whether a job is in person or remote, it is safe to say adjusting to these difficult times can be hard on anyone. For Bobcat Update, I'm Hannah Schmansky. Many school systems have been teaching remotely for the past year, but the state and federal governments are urging them to return to face-to-face -face instruction. There's concern, though, that in-person schooling would be risky if teachers haven't yet been vaccinated. I feel like we're kind of on the front lines. We spend our day around hundreds of students and other adults. And although we do a really good job here of keeping things safe, we don't know where people go when they leave here. Um, and we don't know who's following the rules and who isn't. So um, I think we should have been put in the priority group. Some teachers want the government to consider them essential workers and provide vaccines for them sooner. I do believe that teachers should be a prioritized group. I believe we um, fall underneath that first responders kinds of things. We're on the front line with kiddos every day. And so I think if that's something that teachers want, they should also be one of the first ones to be prioritized for it. President Biden said earlier this month that he will use federal authority to have all teachers who want the vaccine to be vaccinated. The hope is that all teachers will have their first shot by the end of March. For Bobcat Update, I'm Hannah Schmansky.